Alrighty guys, well, welcome. Uh, we are at the beautiful Hope Island Lynx Golf Course again today. But today I'm gonna to be doing something a little bit different, um, which is testing out some new irons. And basically, uh, I ordered some new Bridgestone irons. Uh, There's a bit of a mix up. Anyway, the order that came with perfect shaft, perfect grip, except the wrong head. And now the irons that I ordered, I went from a blade, I was gonna go into more of a cavity back style. Um, but kind of in between the game improvement stuff and a blade. Um, just a little bit more forgiveness, a bit more distance. Anyway, long story short, they sent me the uh, more of the game improvement style. And I have used them now uh, one full round, so 18 holes, and one nine hole round. Except on the nine hole round, I only really got to use a four and five iron, just the way it played out. So today what I'm going to be doing is I might even play off a couple of different tees I really want to try and get to use as many of the clubs in the bag as I can through nine holes and see how it goes so is there much of a difference is there not much of a difference type in the comments below let me know your thoughts I'm definitely going to let you know mine uh, as well as revealing the irons in the process so they definitely swing heavier that's for sure but let's give it a go hit a nice drive off the tee and should be in the fairway just on the right side with a wedge into the green so i've actually uh monstered that drive i hit that drive a lot better than i thought i did um i've even ran through the fairway into the rough but that's okay we have about 92 meters to the middle of that flag which is not going to get me to show you these irons so i'll show you them after i hit the shot first really well and then my club went into the rough but it's pin high probably about 10 feet from the pin so really happy with that oh you got to hit it okay so while we got someone ahead of us on this par five um albeit they're on the green but i'll just give them a bit of space because there's no one behind us these are the irons in question. So the Bridgestone 202 CBP irons. Now I hope you saw that, but basically the player's head profile, again, I'm guessing and hoping that you see this, um, is not like a player's head. It's a little bit chunkier. There's a bit more of a deeper cavity in there. The sole's a little wider. The lofts are a bit stronger. And basically these are supposed to help forgiveness. They're supposed to help distance. Um, I haven't found so far that I actually lose any spin with them. So that was something that was very interesting. They do feel a little bit harder than your full forged face. Um, now I've matched it up with the KBS Tour uh, C Taper Lite with uh, 115 gram X stiff and the uh, Golf Pride Tour Alignment Grips. I think they're an MSS or something like that. But basically, let's see how these go. I'm gonna be hitting driver off this tee anyway. But just giving the guys ahead a little bit of space and uh, yeah, let's give them a full review. That was absolutely smashed. Okay, so this is a par five with a temp green in play. I've absolutely smashed that drive. I don't know how far that went, but it was a long way. And... Saying that we have about 180 left to the pin. So I'm gonna go... So with the extra distance, I'm going to try a six iron and see how close we can get. See how this goes. Drive it. So I actually hit that really, really well. Slight fade. I'll fix that divot in a second. And I think I might have even gone over the back. We'll see. 
So it's actually the perfect distance on the green. We've got a putt for Eagle. So let's not leave this one short. Dang, what a putt, huh? Eagle on the par five, but in saying that, normally with my blades at 180 meters, I'm almost looking at a four iron. Maybe with that kind of a thing, I could have pushed a five iron quite hard, but generally a four iron. So, so with the extra distance that that six iron gave me, it really gave me a much easier opportunity to, uh, to hit the green. Um, it's easier to hit a six iron than it is to hit a four iron, of course. and with the distances, who wouldn't want to hit a six iron 180 meters as opposed to a four iron? So these are growing on me a lot. Um, and I really mean that. Now just as an FYI, this is not a hole that I would normally take an iron on. I'd normally take my hybrid, especially from the very back tees because the bunkers are 186 meters uphill into the wind. So what I'm going to do anyway, I'm going to try a four iron and see how it goes, All right? Alrighty guys, so sorry, it looks like that actually cut out there when I hit that shot, but basically it was a four iron uphill that led to just there. Uh, it's very hot here and I think the phone is not liking the, uh, the temperature, it's just turning off. But basically this, I would never normally use a four iron on this hole because it's about 190 meters to the front, uphill, generally into a wind. So, so I would normally take a, uh, a three hybrid, but as you can see, it's still got here and I've just got an easy chip and a putt. got a shot up and over and around but I'm going to need to turn it the front's 152 the middle's 165 we go seven iron and uh, now my natural shot shape is a fade so that's going to test out the workability of these irons as to whether I can actually draw it or not all right I've got to draw quite a bit from this light I was unlucky. That actually did exactly what I wanted it to do. I just hit the right edge of the green and it rolled down the hill, but in terms of workability, it did it. Okay, so that was a hill that it landed in. And come back down right there. But left myself in not a bad spot. Just gotta get up and down. There we go. Beautiful. Oh. Move it all. So 
So it's probably important as well to note that when we're looking at an iron for workability, it's not just the iron that actually plays a factor. So my ball, for example, is a Bridgestone 2 B X, which is not as workable as a Bridgestone 2 B XS. So, and I know that, and I'm more than happy with that because when it comes to the driver, it means that I'm confident that the ball is actually gonna fly straighter. So if you're someone who does struggle to work the ball, it may be worth looking at what ball are you actually using and is there a ball that's more workable for you rather than just the irons. So, I mean, I hit that pretty well out of the rough. I wouldn't say that I absolutely middled it though and it still went the distance. Probably the same distance as if I had middled it. So, really happy with that, happy with the shape. Didn't get up and down, but that was me. I was on the putter. So, yeah, let's go to a short par three now. All right, so landing zone is about 143, which I'm going to go on eight iron and uh, leave it or not for 143, probably even try and knock it down a touch. Not massively. Normally 143 from here, I'd be hitting a seven iron. So, one club different. This was not a good shot, it's probably the wrong club to be honest because you get down here and you can actually feel how strong the wind is. But it's alright. Up and down. Got to go. That may have been a 54 job, not a 58 job, but it's not too bad. We've got a chance for par. Important putt here. Delighted. What a putt. Right, guys, so what I'm going to do, get a new glove. It is so hot out here. If you haven't noticed, I uh, put the wristbands on because I was sweating so much. But this time, I'm going to go off the whites because I want to use the four iron. And we're going into the wind. So if the idea about these clubs is that bigger game improving clubs aren't as uh, workable, you can't get them as high, low, as easy as blades, whatever. Let's put it to the test. I've found that they are workable. Can I get it low into the wind, you know, a low draw, a low fade, and get it up there? So, this hole also has a temporary green just while I got the club. So, it's a shortened hole, but let's see how we go. into the wind it actually probably had a slight draw but then the breeze pushed it across but it was perfect we're in play we're up there just short of the bunkers not much more you can ask for all right so we have 125 left to the pin and what i'm going to try and do we're going into a pretty strong breeze but it's coming across this way as well so it's going to push the ball into a fade but instead of trying to launch a pitching wedge or even a nine, what I'm going to see is I'm going to see if I can actually knock these irons down to a distance. So I've got an eight iron, which will normally go about 150. I'm going to try and knock it down to 125 into the wind, see if I can get it low, get it on the dance floor. So let's see. Yeah. That is 
is. I really hope the camera caught that because that was amazing. Like everything that I just said I wanted that ball to do, it did. Pretty workable if you ask me. temporary green which is still really quite bumpy because they were fixing that one but still a par and I'm really happy with the shot that I was able to play in there it's not always about the score when you're out here practicing um, even though we're scoring quite well one under but that shot was really really amazing I'm really happy with it and it just goes to show that those irons are workable and even players on low handicaps can use them so to give you a better look at them here are the irons in question so if we just grab that out Bridgestone 202 CBP. So that's a five iron. You can see from the bottom, there's a little bit of chunk there, but not too bad. And the top line, you can take a look at that if I can get the camera on the right angle, is a bit chunkier than normal, probably like your Cobra uh, King S sets. Um, but realistically, I mean, they might look like Frankenstein's big fat foot but they perform really really well and so I'm guilty of this I wonder if you guys are too type it in the comments are you guilty of following a trend of an iron that you're supposed to have because you play on a lower handicap or something like that which is what I did when I bought my blades last time I was down at three I thought I should have players irons learn how to use them I don't actually know if it helped um, I don't know if I became any better. I don't know if I struck the ball any better. I don't know if I struck it any worse. But what I did notice is that if I hit off center hits, I'd lose about 20 meters with a blade. And then I was on an awkward chip up to the green. Whereas with these irons, I don't. Um, I've missed hit them and I've still got them to the desired distance that I wanted to hit them to. And I've found that in the last three rounds, I've actually scored better using irons like this. So might be something to consider for yourself i can hit them high i can hit them low i can work them left i can do my natural fade right um, i can knock them down so what more do you want from an iron i mean maybe it's something to consider that when you're buying your next set of irons maybe something like a tailor-made p790 or a p770 or something with a bit more forgiveness will actually help improve your game rather than just look good to your buddies so if we take the ego out of it we might shoot lower scores so just while we're waiting for the guys up ahead, a bit of a confession is that when I got these, I thought, oh no, I thought they're just not gonna be for me. Um, I understand the point of them, I understand the concept of them, but I ordered something else. I expected more of a player's cavity style, didn't come, and then I hit it first time, and I think my, my preconceived conceptions of these things, I was like, no, nah, don't like them. Messaged the guys that sent them to me, and I said, look, I need the other ones, and then, I used them on course and I found, you know what, maybe I was wrong. These are actually pretty good. Maybe I might keep them. So let's finish out these last two holes. That was monstered. All right, let's, uh, let's bust some myths here for a minute. So what I didn't realize is how many pros actually don't use blades. Um, I was under the conception or the perception, whatever you want to call it, that every pro who was on the tour was using the knifiest irons that you could see. And every single one of them, basically, if they didn't have blades or players irons were no good. Yet, I realized the error of those thoughts when I found out that actually quite a lot of them, if not the majority of them, still use a cavity back style iron. Uh, more like a player style iron, but still a cavity back iron. You know, guys like John Rahm have switched to that way. Um, and then you look at the women's golf, which is probably more in the capabilities of most um, local golfers. They, for the most part, all of them, that I've seen use cavity back irons like the Titleist T100s and 
those sort of things. The Shrixen Z785s and the ZX7s, the new ones. Uh, Bridgestones even, you know, uh, Matt Kucher as a pro uses cavity back irons and Bridgestones. So if these guys are using cavity back irons shooting those ridiculous scores, why are we under the perception that we need to play players irons? I don't know, I fell to it, I'm sure a lot of other people have fallen to it as well, but it's actually not the norm. So yeah, just busting that myth. I have 104 to the back, 94 to the middle. With a bit of breeze, so that's gonna be a gap wedge. Right, so a little disappointing there. It actually went the opposite way to the way that I thought it was going to go. Hit a good putt, was end over end, and uh, yeah, very strange. I hit, uh, I hit a couple of other putts after it as well, and they went the way that I thought. So maybe I just hit a bump or something, but it's not, it's not okay. Um, now last hole, I know I said two more holes, and this is only the eighth hole, but the ninth hole is out of action here. So they're renovating the ninth hole, so they've got a front eight, a back 10, which 12A is in play. So we're gonna play one more hole, which is a par five, and uh, finish up on that one. So. Let's see how we finish up. We're one under at the moment, and that would have been nice to be two under, but that's golf, right? So sometimes it always comes down to the short stick. If you got that, sometimes it always comes down to the short stick. Good English, David. Let's go to the eighth. there in the middle but why well, I got a minute because these guys are up on the green uh, like all the irons Bridgestone have built a lot of tech into these irons and basically one of the main focus points is this little bit here so if you can see that there what that is supposed to do is it's supposed to keep the club face more square Kind of like the tailor-made truss putters actually. So when you add impact, if you hit it on the toe or the heel side, it's gonna keep the stability within the club head and it's not gonna twist this way or hook that way. And it's gonna mean that A, you're gonna get straighter ball flights, even though they're still workable. And B, it's not gonna hinder you so much on distance because you're gonna have that stability through the head, even if you hit it on the toe or the heel, which I found when I hit that seven iron around the tree when I tried to work it left, I didn't lose any distance even though I got it a little bit low. So, when there's technology built into an iron, it's going to give you more forgiveness, more distance, you're not going to sacrifice spin, it can launch, it can go low, it can be workable. It's changed my mind on what I'm supposed to use as a golfer. So, I'm going to keep these now, I'm going to keep them in the bag, I'm happy with the shafts, happy with the grips. I'm getting more and more used to the iron head and I'm loving it more and more. There's no need to change. It's doing everything that I want. It's giving me more distance, more forgiveness. It's making golf easier. Let's go hit that ball, finish out the hole, hopefully get a birdie. All right, so we're about 260 to the back pin. I've got the three wood out. We are down breeze a little bit, so we could potentially get there. Giving it my best. Maybe on the front. We'll see. Right, so a great shot in. Just on the front edge of the green. And for the sake of the video, I wouldn't normally play it like this, but I'm gonna get a nine iron and uh, 
Oh, but that's how it goes. We're right into the grain. So when I'm in a, wouldn't normally play it like this, I'd probably normally get a hybrid out and do it that way. To avoid the grain. But because we're talking about the irons, it's gonna go left to right a little bit. So I need to bump it up there to the left-hand side and uh, let it come around. Not bad. Alrighty, let's finish up with a birdie. That'll take us to two under. so we finished the round eight holes at one under par and for the most part it was relatively very low risk uh, wasn't too many hassles there was one shot there out of the bunker which I made a really good up and down for uh, that one around the trees but it ended up in a bogey um, putting actually missed a couple of putts today but the greens are just coming back from being scarified so some are breaking the way that you think and some aren't no excuse, but when, I guess it's actually important to note that when that is the case, just look at your line on your ball, the line that you read, if you see it going end over end, which I did every time, uh, it just means that you've hit a good shot, you know, you hit a good putt, um, and then it's just the line. So it doesn't actually mean that you're putting bad, it just means that you missed the line. Anyway, so the irons, super impressed. They do everything that you want them to do and more. And coming from a blade, uh, I can say that I feel like as a four handicapper, these have helped my game. And I don't think that they are, I don't think my game is above the irons, if I could put it that way. I don't think using these kind of irons is below me, uh, which is a perception out there. The game improvement irons or thicker irons are basically below low handicappers. P790s are a great example. Uh, there's people off scratch that use those and even plus handicaps and they love them so maybe it's something for you to consider thank you guys for watching give us a thumbs up share it like the video comment all that sort of stuff and uh yeah hope you learned something today go out and enjoy golf if you are thinking about purchasing a new set of irons please at least try them um i love them so cheers guys see you all